Welcome in everybody. I have another highly anticipated unboxing for you of a Max ECU Mini. Purchased from Linder Power Systems, lpsfab.com. This is where I got my last Max ECU and uh, it was a flawless transaction. They shipped in just a couple of days here in the United States with zero dramas. And uh, if you're looking for a Max ECU yourself, go check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below of how to get your Max ECU from LPS Fab. They also have some really cool intercooler locking systems, probably some of the best in the industry, called the Alpha Lock, and you can check those out too. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so this is the Max ECU Mini, and I will be doing a project where I run this ECU in parallel with a stock ECU. In some future videos, I will go over the details of specifically why this was chosen, and it mostly has to do with the amount of IO that is needed. So I will, uh, I'll go over that in a little more detail and we can show you how to pick an ECU based on how much you need. And so you don't over buy an ECU or under buy an ECU. So let's, uh, let's get this guy opened up. So what is in the box? So when we open it up, we have engineered in Sweden. Sweden is uh, very well known for extremely well engineered and produced products. So first off, here's the flying lead wiring harness. They use a Molex connector and it is already pinned, ready for you to use. Uh, you can actually see it's also labeled for the mini, so you know if it's right. And I will be showing you in some future videos how I install this and which wires you need. For my specific application, out of all these wires in here, I probably am only gonna need about 17 total wires. So it's actually pretty easy to connect one of these and I'll kind of show you how to do that in uh, some future videos. So next thing they give you is the USB cable. So this is how you connect it. It looks like type A to micro B. And uh, that's how you're gonna connect up to the Mac ECU to do its tuning. And last but not least, this is the Max ECU Mini. It is an extremely small form factor and extremely powerful. So I can kind of go over a little bit of why Max ECU is so cool and the differences between this and some of the other ECUs on the market. Mostly it's because of the ability that you have in software. So all ECUs, regardless of what you buy, are limited by I.O. The number of inputs and outputs, like the pins actually, that are able to be driven on this. And the difference that Max ECU has is the ability to manipulate so many different aspects of what you can do with each input and output. So you can do incredible stuff. And once you attach CAN bus to this, you can almost run anything off of it. There are different inputs and output modules that you can buy from like can checked where you can add an instant nine and nine, nine inputs and nine outputs with just two wires. Even though this is a small ECU with a limited number of pins, it can be expanded through the CAN bus. So with just the two CAN bus network wires, you can almost do an infinite amount with these ECUs. That's one of the best things about this compared it to like a micro squirt, which you've seen a ton on my channel and some of the other products out there, they're just limited in software. Whereas Max ECU essentially has a very similar software for all of their different ECUs. So if you can do a specific math channel that has a 4D table on one of their higher end ECUs, you can do the same thing on the most basic ECU. So I wanted to highlight that and I actually, for the project that I'm doing, I don't need a ton of IO. I don't need a wideband uh, controller because I already have that Bollinger AFR 500 CAN bus controller for my wideband. So all I gotta do is hook this guy up and we'll be ready to go. Another thing that's really nice, a lot of ECUs have this, but not specifically the micro squirt that I'm used to is the map sensor on board built in. You hook up a tube to go to your intake manifold and uh, you're ready to go. And then this is a water tight plug that goes into the board where you can see you can hook up your micro B to control and uh, tune it. So 
Anyway, I'm looking forward to showing you how this works in a whole series of future videos. Uh, there is a ton that you can do with these, and I'm gonna to try to show you how to do it in a concise and easy way. Uh, just like all my other videos, I'm gonna to try to keep them short, simple, and to the point. And I think that's where I have had the most feedback from all of my videos is showing people how to do things without overcomplicating it. Thanks again to all of you for supporting the channel. Thanks for Linder Power Systems for being an awesome vendor and getting this shipped out and delivered so quickly. And looking forward to showing all of you the power of the Max ECU. So if you like what you see here and you're interested in learning more about ECUs, tuning, and especially Max ECU, go ahead and leave a comment, like, and subscribe. I know it sounds cliche, but the only way you're going to see my content in the future is subscribing. So go ahead and check it out. If you're also interested, we have channel memberships that you can follow too and uh, support the channel more directly in that way. All right. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.